Hi everyone, Piet Calamain here. I hope you're having an awesome day. How can you easily design a PCB board shape? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. By the way, if you want more hints and tips like this, feel free to join my free community. It's in the links below. So I'm going to show you three simple ways to design a board shape. First of all, uh, if you make a new PCB dock in Altium, it will look something like this. Typically, you would like to set your origin first. So for that, you go to edit origin set now you can do it by mouse and then clicking somewhere but let's maybe assume that you want to have it on a specific point um, then there's an easier way to do that and that is with j the j command and then the l you can set an exact location to jump to so for instance let's say we want to have our origin at 2020 you don't use the mouse anymore you press enter once and then twice and what you see is that your origin right now is exactly where you want it to be. So that's an interesting start, let's say. Now, if you want to design or edit your board shape, best is to type the number one, and then you see that the perspective changes like this. And then you can go to design, edit board shape, and then you can easily move the sides of your board to be fully in line with what you want. If you want to have a board of a specific dimension, by dragging the lines, you will see in the upper left corner here on the screen the height. So my Y is now at 50 millimeters. Let's say I want to have an exact square board. I can draw it so that the X also will be at 50 millimeters. So I have an exact square board right now. If you push the number three, then you can look at your board in 3D view. So that's the first simple way to define a board. Now, another way is to place an object. So for instance, let go, let's go with a circle. So we select full circle. We want to use this circle as our board shape, let's say. The only thing that you need to do is, so you draw it once, you select it, and then you go to design board shape, and then you click define board shape from selected objects. And that's where you have your new board, which is now a circle. So very easy to do. Um, let's say you want to add an extra board cutout. What you could do is go to design again, board shape, define board cutout. And then by clicking, you can add an extra hole. If you look in 3D, you see that you now have a hole in your PCB. So these are already two simple ways. A third way, and the one that I prefer always, if there is a DXF available, is to work with a DXF. So how would that look like? You go to File, Import DXF, select your DXF file, and then you can select the units, make sure that the units are correct. You click OK, and then the DXF will be imported. By the way, I have a much longer video about this if you want to have the details on this. So what you see here, this DXF is provided by manufacturer of housings. We are interested in this outline over here, so let me go ahead and just select that. And then again, as before, you go to design board shape, define from selected objects. And there you have your defined PCB board shape. It's exactly as what you have in the DXF. Again, for more details on importing a DXF, there's a separate video. I'll link it in the comments below. So I hope this video was interesting for you. Of course, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. If you liked the video, of course, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you like this channel, feel free to subscribe. If you want more hints, tips and tricks like these, feel free to join my free community. The link is in the description below. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a very nice day. Bye bye.